yeah, so so this is a joint work with uh, with my collaborator Yun He and Zhong, and it's actually a bit, um, yeah. So well, it's surprise and not surprise that um, um, that we get into this inviting tensor business. But <laughs> And uh, so the, the, the story is that um, there was a very um, nice, observe, very uh, beautiful observation by Kotov and Strobo, so uh, Alexei and uh, Thomas. Um, they, 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 they found out that um, physicists have done for years. Um, I might say something wrong. Just correct me and I will be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I say it from a, a point of view of a mathematician, um, so uh, just let me know. And physicists have um, uh, done calculations for years, and they go from um, super gravity um, uh, using embedding tensor, describe using embedding tensor to tensor hierarchy in higher gauge theory. And uh, uh, um, and mathematically, um, the what 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 the uh, um, target of this high gauge theory is actually old infinity algebra. So mathematically, there is an actual way to go from um, what gives you supergravity, namely this embedding tensor, to what you, um, the ingredient of um, um, the tensor hierarchy, namely the old infinity algebra. And uh, they observe this functor is actually um, given going through uh, this Leibniz algebra, namely I associate the embedding tensor to a Leibniz algebra, then from um, that's a functor, um, and then from the Leibniz algebra, and then I go to in, um, in O infinity algebra. That's again, um, um, it's yeah, it's it's so 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 all together they have a procedure um, um, um which i call it over here oops pay us and uh, um um and uh then it turns out that uh the all together it actually has quite um, a good um uh, functorality um, property, so it's actually very functorial. Mm, oh well, and uh, um, so it say, says that um, that that this procedure to, that this is to go from one word to the other, it's very stable, right? But then um, the, the the entire math world uh, got very excited, right? Because <laughs> finally, like we studied for years all these uh, um, higher structures, it shows up in nature. <laughs> And then, 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 um, then, then, for example, people like me will, would like to um, test how how stable this uh, this functor is. Namely, let's put homotopy over here. And will this? Well, first of all, it, it turns out that that wouldn't. Uh, they will, will put homotopy over here. That's stable. And uh, this one will. Then this one will stay just L infinity. Wouldn't have like a true homotopy. And uh, then we want to test uh, whether you know one day if there's some um, um, homotopy involved in your system, will that be stable, right? But it turns out that um, the yes. The answer is yes. So we still have functors go from uh, um, um, embedding tensor up to homotopy and uh, Leibniz uh, uh, up to homotopy, then go to own things up to homotopy. And uh, so um, to, uh, but to put this um, homotopy for these uh, objects, so over here is very easy. Um, people have done already. This is also easy. Actually, this is the best because oh, why why can't people see my um, see my writing anymore? Uh, um, yeah. So these two are very easy. Oh, I write. Um, uh, these two, well, I'm, I mean the Leibniz algebra part and the um, and the 
the infinity part is very easy, but the embedding tensor part is one need to one need to invent something. So we are very happy to invent something <laughs> because finally Thomas gave us uh, like a motivation to do it. <laughs> and uh, so so that's because uh, the embedding tensor actually ha has like a. Uh, um, uh, binary operation and the one and binary operation, so it can, it's not like governed by the um, usual opera theory yet. So we need to invent something to in, and to do this. We oh no one uh, nobody see me uh, writing. So so we need to um, have a look of this con uh, design what the control algebra is. Um, is there something I can do? Like nobody see me writing anymore. Um, yeah. So you could try with the iPad to sort of reconnect. Okay. Try again. Uh, Reconnect. Yes. Okay. So, um, um, it's good that we have two devices, so I can do something here. Um, so there is this. Con uh, can someone see my mouse at least? No. I, I, now we can present also on the computer. Now we can see your mouse. Okay. Good. So then, for this controlling algebra. That's the key to uh, set up a homotopy theory over here for in embedding embedding tensor. Actually, once you have this controlling algebra, you can you can describe um, deformation and the central extension for this uh, embedding tensor. We just like uh, provide you a rich tool, and I hope uh, maybe physicists realize something in their construction is actually deformation or central extension. <laughs> and uh, and then um, also the moral cartoon elements inside the um, uh, controlling algebra gives you the um, notion of uh, embedding tensor up to homotopy. And so we can answer this question. And then we can actually create this question and answer this question. And uh, yes, my iPad is not very stable. But then, um, the, in, at the end of the, our work, the um, um, good thing is that we actually hit something mathematically hard, <laughs> at least for us hard. Um, namely, um, namely, is this uh, um, this KS functor um, a infinity functor or not? So, namely, uh, um, can we? Uh, we only have like partial answers, and I can show you at the very end of the talk. Okay, so let's go to the second slide. So well, I have talked about the embedding tensor for a long time and what that is. Let, let us have a look. So uh, we have a vector space V, we have a Lie algebra G, and the Lie algebra G acts on the, Lie, um, uh, the vector space, so represent on the vector space, and uh, um, there is a linear map like this, which is equivalent. Namely, if we have a T of A acts on V, then I can take A out and uh, I do T of V. That's very, very similar to cross modules. Cross module also have this cross module of Lie algebras, namely strictly to algebra, but you only have one of the equation of the cross module. So you only have this one. Actually, the embedding tensor come from physics. Um, I, I checked the one from uh, four-dimensional supergravity. It's no, uh, it's, and that guy only have one equation. So it's not a strictly two algebra. It's not a cross module, but only an embedding tensor. So it's, a, it's a, in natural, it only comes with one equation of cross module. And then, from a embedding tensor, T is not that hard to give yourself a Leibniz algebra. How do I do this? How do I do this? I create a Leibniz algebra structure, a bracket on V, 
uh, by uh, by simply um, the U and V bracket is row on the representation of TU. TU now goes to G, so I can represent using, oh, this row is this representation row over here. Okay, I use TU to act on V. And then it turns out this bracket is not a Lie bracket, it's not symmetric. And, and that, that one, like the, that example from this um, as for variety, indeed, it was not symmetric over here. And then there was a functor, um, uh, there was an association from, um, uh, it turns out to be a functor too, from Leibniz going to O infinity. How do you do this? It's actually um, 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 yeah, talk to Bruno. Bruno said it's all classical. So let me put some um, nice names over here. Um, but, but it was uh, um, um, uh, it was an uh, amazing uh, observation by Thomas and uh, uh, I would say that uh, the, the, uh, that that it it also exists in nature. That is amazing. So what we do. Um, for a Leibniz algebra, usually we take the tensor uh, algebra of Leibniz algebra. That guy will become a Cosimbo, co-free Cosimbo, um, co-free Cosimbo uh, co-algebra. So some sort of like uh, Shalom Eilenberg algebra for a Lie algebra, but this T of V is co-free uh, co Cosimbo for Leibniz. So, um, um, you know, the, the complex to calculate the cohomology of Leibniz, if you want. So this guy, the T of V naturally is isomorphic to U, universal enveloping of Li of V. That was by Katia Minor and Moore in 50s. And then this universal Enveloping of Lee by PPW is the same as um, a symmetric algebra of Lee of V. And then at this moment, then you can see that's shovel on um, that's shovel on Eilenberg. Uh, oh, oh yeah. So so I'm sorry, I forgot to. Um, there was certain complex um, um, a differential. Yeah, I cannot write. Okay, so so you cannot make my computer right neither, huh? Yeah, the the pattern. You can you can in principle on the computer just uh, there's also this hand bottom on the right, and uh, when you click on it, you can find a pen and write. Yeah. Okay. Oh yes, I can do this. Yes. So this one. Yes. Yes. This one come with also a differential. Um, is this low day? Uh, um, the, the correct name is Lode uh, um, um, a complex and over here you have a com uh, differential and you sort of uh, anti-symmetrize this differential that brings you through all these isomorphism that we just described it brings you a new differential over here and uh, this new differential um, uh, uh, this differential will give you um, a well, co-differential the um, and the shovel make this guy into a shovel Eilenberg of O infinity fun O infinity algebra structure only of B. So that's how it goes. And uh, um, it turns out that um, this embedding tensor uh, uh, mystery enough, we also actually is known in mathematics as uh, average operator, which is used in um, <laughs> uh, operatic theory. Um, and, uh, okay, my pad come back. And um, so uh, um, it turns out that you, uh, yeah, the, the story is like this. You, come, you begin with, with associated algebra, you take the, um, uh, commutative uh, um, 
anti commutative uh, bracket, then you have a Li. Then the kernel is commutative ones. And then from Li, you do some sort of a duplication, so called duplication. In, you get lattice and uh, do some splitting. Split, you get pre Li. And on each column, you can do this. There are like there are nine of them. So the Zimbo thing, um, it was at the beginning what I mentioned. So this guy is Zimbo or co -Zimbo. And uh, so to do the um, duplication, uh, you need this average operator, the concept of average operator, which is exactly this um, concept with the embedded tensor. But how this is, how this is uh, really, um, yeah, we don't also understand why, <laughs> how how the internal logic that it's. Thomas wants to say, I did, I cannot hear. Thomas, I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Do you want to say something? But I cannot. Do, do anyone else can uh, do? No, I cannot hear you either, Thomas. I, I no. can't hear Thomas. <laughs> you can write. Let's guess what he wants to say. <laughs> <laughs> read from the lips. Anyone can read in lips? Uh, Articulate it better, maybe Thomas. Maybe collaborator can read his lips. <laughs> me, I'm not so close to him. <laughs> And uh, um, so, 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 how the internally why this is going to correspond? We don't know neither. How can we make heart? Um, um, maybe, maybe Eric can kind of help. So, so that's just like uh, another mysterious thing. But let him, uh, let me first explain the tools. To to develop the homotopy, to bring homotopy theory, cohomology theory on a embedding tensor or whatever whatever algebraic structure that you like currently are facing. Um, and what you develop the cohomology theory, um, um, well, you can develop the theory of a project. Uh, projective modules and you know you know homotopy algebra, but there was uh, homological algebra. But there is also a very convenient way, another way, namely using this so-called controlling algebra, and that one can actually develop for you the homology theory or homology and homotopy theory together. So let me just tell, um, maybe give give this tool on first the example of Lie algebra. How do you do? I start with the G. At the moment, it's only a vector space. Only a vector space. I consider such a so. uh, graded guy. Um, and that guy is um, a graded Lie algebra. Test. OK. Can that be heard? Yeah, we can hear you now. Ah, but, uh, oh but, uh, I cannot write anymore, so it seems yeah, like I, 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 <laughs> it's very funny. It's just BBB. Uh, I, I just wanted to say that this this construction of this L infinity algebra was in the end uh, much simpler uh, by by using this uh, low day differential. Um, and um, I, I know that Bruno found some very complicated explanation, saying somehow that they somehow knew it already. But I talked to the people from that community at that time that nobody knew that the Leibniz algebra gives an L infinity. So I was like these low day people, they, they did not know. But OK, but now one can reconstruct it in 100 ways, I guess. But the, the easiest way is to see it as a Q manifold using just a low day differential. So that's a rather simpler, simple way. Right. OK, right. just as a remark. Right, right, right. Okay, good. So, 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 yeah. So, the, to the uh, Vala also explained to me that actually these two, like the Kata, Milo, more, and this PPW was known before. Of course, to put them together, um, maybe no day knows already. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, but to to give um and to give it um 
um, on a straightforward construction like this and relate to all the um, meaningful physics, I think that's due to you and uh, um, Alexei. So that we call it chaos. <laughs> And, and and the other thing I also give uh, give to you the, this invariant tensor is like an average operator also used in operatic theory. But I yeah maybe one day physicists also realize how 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 it relate. But I don't know. Um, and so so uh, so so to develop this uh, theory, um, the, a convenient thing I want to advertise over here is so called this controlling algebra, and. Uh, uh well may, may, maybe i need to uh, reconnect my ipad again maybe maybe you, you someone can make make my 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 computer be able to write for okay me. now the computer is, is okay, presenter thank you, thank you. and uh, the the controlling algebra um, for example, on the Lie algebra, right? So for Lie algebra, you, you, we just start with a vector space. Then we consider such a graded space. What G, G, uh, it looks like a Shovel Allenberg, right? But it's only a vector space right now for G. But then we equivalent with this uh, um, nine house bracket, make it into a, um, uh, Graded Lie algebra, graded Lie algebra. Then a element mu, degree one element mu. Oh, I'm sorry, this is mu, 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 mu. Um, nine house equal to zero, namely is a Morikata element, right? So because we don't have differentials, so Morikata only means this. And mu defines a Lie bracket on G. This one and two, they are equivalent. So mu is a moral cutting element, even only if uh, mu defines the least structure on G. So that makes it very convenient. And we call such, then we call this algebra, this greater Lie algebra, the controlling algebra for least structure on G. So that's a nice tool in, uh, in math. And uh, yeah, once we have that, and we all we all have a cohomology theory coming out automatically. Namely, we use this GLA together with this D will become a DGLA. Then the cohomology, um, and then it's just the Shavala Eilenberg complex of G. So it will become it will help you to calculate the cohomology. So that's a shortcut to cohomology theory if you um, know what the controlling algebra is. And another example for Leibniz, then we again start with a vector space. And then we don't take a wedge anymore. So no wedge, and here only tensor because of... <laughs> and then, then we take, uh, oh, I forgot the name of this uh, person. The, it was a mathematician name which correspond to this B. I'm sorry, and um, and we take the again a um, um, greater Lie algebra. The bracket is defined in this way, and uh, um, the uh, the a, so so it's anti-symmetric bracket. But um, but over here the um, the circle is a formula with some of those circle case. This circle K. Well, it sort of reminds you the nine house uh, formula, right? But without symmetry. With um, in nine house, uh, in nine in the formula of nine house, you always have P and Q together over here. But then here the Q need to stay in a random place and use some map with all these shuffles. So somehow you you take a non symmetric nine house. Bracket. Actually, it's a part of the counter algebra, right? There is a counter algebra which includes this. It's a, it's a positive part of the counter algebra, no negative part. Which algebra? Counter. K A N C O R. Counter. K 
Okay, you, you are the second person who who did not recognize it, but but it's the case. <laughs> oh, great! So so, uh, but but I think in your and um, I also saw a algebra in your in your paper. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, maybe sure. that's the the name. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, we exactly. We, uh, we call it with a different name, but but I realize and, and it's different part. Name. The second part is is uh, the free free and. Um, Freely algebra, so the the negative with the freely and the non 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 negative with what what you wrote. So and all together the counter. Okay, okay. okay. Just okay. just. Uh, well, 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 let us let talk about later. Yeah, there are okay. like many no. names over here, and um, yeah, okay. So, how, how Thank you very much. Very, uh, a lot for for the um uh, um and then 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 you find it out. You do a simple calculation like this. And you plug it in inside. It has to be like uh, 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 three, with three elements. It has to be like this. Therefore, a more cut down of this guy is a Leibniz function. Right. So so, and then we take uh, again um, the differential with this with respect to this more cut down that will give us. Uh, the cohomology, right? And then, therefore, let's let's try to develop. Or let's try to guess what are the controlling algebra for embedding tensors. But the first step, let's let's uh, not 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 get that high. We we, we just take care of uh, only the Lie algebra and the representation. Uh, that's uh, the algebra. With there is representation, it's almost like the semi-direct product. It's exactly the same information on semi-direct product. So we just take like a part of this whole thing. Um, semi-direct product is uh, the, the the whole complex will will, will be wedged, but the, you, you know part of this, and we just take part of it only. This part taking care of the Lie algebra. And the other part, taking care of just one entry of V, because in the representation, you only allow one entry of V, right? And one entry of V, and then we try this. And uh, more cut element mu, and uh, a more cut element degree one element, so it, it has the formula mu and um, mu comma rho. Mu is really something look like a Lie bracket and rho is really something look like a representation and we are very lucky in um, more cut on elements of such a such a um such a um such a guy is exactly uh saying that mu is a Lie bracket rho is a representation and uh, so we found out the controlling algebra for the representation let's then do for the next thing, namely, now we do not just have more uh, for the, uh, for the uh, you see embedding tensor. What does embedding tensor mean? Embedding tensor means that I have a representation and I have a like a um, equivalent map. So let's take care of the equivalent map. Uh, and over here, we use the Yvette's uh, Cosmos Schwarzbach's uh, nice construction of this uh, direct bracket. So uh, basically, we begin with uh, um, this guy, this L, this very, very big guy, which should contain everything. And then we uh, we sort of uh, um, uh, let's let's first uh, uh, chat a little bit about uh, Eva, maybe also Dimitri's construction over here. You start with the DGLA. And then you take a, a billion a billion sap, then you can and then you can uh, then you form a derived uh, derive the bracket like this. So in our case, we can take a O with B a bracket and D coming from this more katan element D. And then this this um, this is our derived bracket, namely you derived once with this D. And then, if this Dirac bracket is closed on the sub guy, a billion sub, then the billion sub will become a Lie algebra. So the billion sub we take is this guy, and we take 
um, the derived vector like this, and turns out the more cation elements is a degree one element, so it looks like this. Is when you write the derived bracket out, you realize that's exactly the equation of uh, embedding tensor. So you realize we realize embedding tensor as a more common element of certain graded Lie algebra over here. Okay, so that's the controlling algebra for Imani tensor. And then um, we, like I probably have a very limited time. So um, so we can form the cohomology theory just by um, just like before, right? So we write down this complex and we take this um, differential according to T and um, it turns out, um, and, um, it turns out that Actually, it, it's, it has a relation to the um, cohomology of the Leibniz algebra. It actually, it's functorial. Okay, so that's then. Um, then you um, then over there is also some sort of shortcoming for this. Well, not perfect. Namely, um, this cohomology can only control the deformation of T and central extension of T. But in reality, probably we want to central extend G and V and deform G and V and T all together. And these, if you put them all together, I think it's called the Lee Leibniz pair, right? In, in, uh, by, uh, by Thomas and, uh, uh, and Alexei. And then we, we, we actually try the, um, if we want to deform like three of them, we also try the same trick, but over here it wouldn't work because I, I will need to deform mu and rho together, but fortunately still something will work. So we progress ourselves from Yvette's um, direct bracket to Vonerov's uh, higher direct bracket. And we modify a little bit and then we put the uh, the embedding uh, the the controlling algebra for embedding tensor and controlling algebra for this pair, and we adapt ourselves a new bracket, like a sort of a higher direct bracket. Oh, there is a typo. I'm sorry, I forgot to write. So, uh, and there, there's only one over here. There's delta. Over here, you don't have delta. And uh, then, then we obtain a sort of a new cochain um, um, and that one is going to be the controlling algebra for when you deform three of them together. And it has a Meyer Victoria phenomenon. You have put this thing in the middle. Uh, on one hand, it's, uh, it's the, um, the representation. On the other hand, it's this um, embedding tensor. You sort of just put these things together. Okay. So once you once we have this, um, then we can um, there there is like two result. We can form a deformation of uh, this the Leibniz triple. Um, we can deform the bracket with a two form. We deform the representation. We deform the embedding tensor with a certain path of representation or path of embedding tensor. And then the second cohomology classify equivalent deformations. So that shows also like the cohomology theory is a very effective one, mathematically well defined. And then there is a central extension can also be classified by H2. Over there, you, you want you to think a little bit about what is a billion embedding tensor. <laughs> Yeah, you're amazed at like how a mathematician can imagine, right? Okay, good. So then the next thing um, really important is about the homotopy theory of the such thing. So, so uh, we, uh, we want to add homotopy inside for many tensor and see whether this functor is stable under homotopy. So the way we do this is, of course, go back to this controlling algebra for many tensor. But now we want to develop a controlling algebra so that it give, give us embedding tensor after homotopy. The way to do it is that we um, relax 
So the, the yellow thing is a relaxation. Before the controlling algebra is just the tensor. And now we add, um, instead of vector space, we add vector space, graded vector space instead of uh, um, the algebra, we say it's L infinity algebra. Right, then we still are all these uh, these T's going from V dot to G dot. And uh, G dot, the only thing T has a representation after how much of V to V dot. And we can, then we, we form this more, is like a graded version of this controlling algebra. And we obtain this, uh, instead of this derived bracket, we use this higher derived bracket by Volnerov. We got a O infinity algebra as the controlling algebra. And then the Mercado elements give us a inviting tensor up to homotopy. The inviting tensor up to homotopy V goes from a greater vector space to a own thinking algebra. And uh, own thinking algebra represent on this greater vector space. Uh, but what stays the same is that the um, inviting tensor up to homotopy still give, oh, well, well, it will not give us a Leibniz algebra anymore, but give us a Leibniz algebra after homotopy. After homotopy, and we basically use uh, the same thing, but same formula, well, same formula after homotopy. <laughs> uh, that's how we imagine these things. And then if we use the same thing like before, it doesn't go to O infinity infinity, it just go to O infinity. And it goes like this. And we take the Leibniz infinity and we still form the low day complex. And uh, we do anti symmetry on the co product, then use Cartier mean or more. Uh, before I thought it's only me no more than Valet told me it should be Katia me no more. And uh, going to the universal enveloping. And then using PPW, come to the symmetric one. And once we're in the symmetric one, we can go back to the infinity structure on this freely space of this V dot. V dot come from this. E to infinity. Well, well, V dot does not have to come from e, uh, V to V, F and G are like an independent thing. Then one can verify G is again a functor. One can also verify that F is again a functor. Actually, G is a functor, is, is actually a very good functor. Like, um, I have one more slide, so I, I, I met some like technical difficulty. I, I will be finishing very soon. And uh, um, G is actually a functor, uh, um, uh, which even preserve weak, 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 a weak O infinity and the Leibniz infinity maps. Okay, then the next thing, Okay, then they are both functors. So KS is a functor. That's the thing we proved. And there was like a little conjecture, and we didn't know how to prove yet is that they're actually both infinity functors. So we for this we need to know what are weak equivalences, and what are fibrations in each category. And what we can show right now is that um, this G, this guy. Um, I think in one of the talks, people talk, uh, were talking about this weak equivalence and vibration. Um, this G, we can show it preserved vibration. And, uh, and thanks to Valet, uh, thanks to Bruno, he, he gave us some, some hints how to show G should also preserve weak equivalence. So, so then, then this, uh, this, G being a functor should uh, in, in G being very stable under homotopic vibration should be there. And we should still think how do we describe weak occurrence and the vibration over here for 
invite the dancers <laughs> so that we do not just put homotopy on the object, also on the morphisms. But I don't know, I, we, I don't know, I just throw all these bricks over there, like building blocks over there. I don't know whether it will be helpful for physicists to recognize some patterns in your calculation. Oh, this is a deformation, this is a homotopy, uh, this is a central extension. I mean, I hope, yeah, I truly hope. Let's see. <laughs> So, so I finished my talk. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so we have time for questions. Are there any? It's not not a question, rather a remark, because we are uh, we are with Thomas the kind of fake physicists, right? We tend to be physicists sometimes, but we are not. And uh, for us, it's it's very nice to have such a picture. <laughs> So, ah, yeah. so, so you, but for, in my eyes, you are a physicist. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. I, sometimes we know that I'm, I'm even a physicist. Right? <laughs> so for me, you look are like this. But <laughs> you must say something. <laughs> the, the degrees, maybe, maybe Stefan is the true physicist over here. They're like a shade. There's no black and white. There's like a a whole spectrum of brains. <laughs> okay, are there other questions whether than oh. whether people are physicists or mathematicians? <laughs> Dima. Yes, I, uh, may I uh, ask again if you uh, uh, show me the definition of uh, the embedding tensor yes. uh, uh, there? Yes. yes. So uh, let's see. So why doesn't this define the differential graded Lie algebra with g in degree zero and v in degree one and t as the differentials? Is, so is it that the uh, uh, well, let's see, t of v acting on w and t of w acting on v can be very different? Is is, is that? Is it, I think there was uh, like on. Is it like on? There was. Uh, uh, Maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm tired. Can Yunhe say something? Yunhe is the calculation kernel of this concept. Can you say something? There is one more equation missing. But, um, uh, let's see if I, maybe I send it in the yeah. chat. So if I say something like this, like if I, if I denote the action by uh, also by a bracket, it's just easier to write here. Okay, so so if, let's I, see. if I write like this, Say well, if these are in, in your vector space V, so this is what so this would be T of V acting on W, um, and then you would have uh, uh, let's see, uh, that and then uh, so this would be the bracket of V and W, but that that should be zero because there is nothing in lower degrees. So uh, yeah. is that you, you want you want to construct a Lie two algebra or what? Well, I mean, it, well, in, in, yeah, that would be a Lie two algebra. So. Yeah, yeah. Can the do difference it, between Lie two and uh, right. So is uh, this the equation that, that does not? I can work? even get a Lie infinity, so not just Lie two. Mm -hmm. Is this is, 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 is this the equation that does not hold? Yes, yeah, some anti symmetry. Yes, I think so. The anti symmetry does not. Hold right, you're right. So, anti symmetry does not hold for famous examples, right? Right, so, um, T, uh, what are the famous but, examples then? <laughs> um, uh, let me, let me, uh, well, I, I, um, Thomas, uh, I copied from Thomas, uh, uh um, it's uh, it's this guy, it's this E77. So um, um, to be more precise, it's um, SO8, what, why do I, SO8, acts on two copies of R8. You can, we can say R8 and R8 stock, okay? Two copies of R8. So altogether dimension 56 
Um, I heard it's a famous uh, thing uh, for people in gravity, supergravity. And uh, uh, R8 acts on, um, well, uh, let's see. Oh, no, 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 I'm not, uh, I, 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 I missed uh, a Mr. Wedge 2, Wedge 2, uh, oh, Wedge 2 R8. 2 R8. Two copies of um, uh, Wedge 2 R8. When you see uh, uh, R8, uh, uh, 8 times 7 is 60, of uh, 56, right? So um, we, we got 56 dimension. And uh, S O eight act on this uh, R eight by fundamental uh, fundamental representation and act on um, uh, on, on uh, wedge two of R eight by wedge product of them and uh, yeah, that V is V for us is this fifty six and G for us is uh, uh, little S O eight and. Um, the embedding tensor you obtain basically is uh, um, is um, uh, this. Uh, you you say uh, it's a very natural one. E I watch E J goes to E I J. E I J is this guy which has uh, one. Uh, on i j and minus one on j i, so it's anti symmetric, and then uh, that's that one. Um, uh, you're right, that, that, that one that one is will satisfy your anti symmetry thing, but um, but then on the v star part, that sort of broke your anti symmetric, uh, anti symmetric thing. And right. um, uh, I see. So, uh, uh, so where did you find this example? I found this example in in uh, uh, Thomas's paper. Oh, okay. And access paper, and I think they found this example in. I also looked into uh, in. There was a supergravity lecture, uh, right? Written like uh, in two thousand. Um, so, so not recent, 10 years ago. I also find it over there. Then I found other things people were discussing over there. Then I, I yeah, I, I, I build up. Um, so, so it seems like uh, it's what it's a standard thing in supergravity or what? <laughs> but, but that's the example that, um, yeah, on V part is uh, strictly, but if you add this about uh, W, well, if you are two, um, but then you add this um, star part, the this dual part, it will break the symmetry. You only have uh, only this remains. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, um, so, uh, so Yune is writing there that uh, uh, well, this difference that I wrote down is not zero, but it's uh, it's in the kernel of T. Uh, which actually this is uh, well this looks very promising because it might indicate that there is uh, that well uh, that aside from this gene uh, in degree zero and v in degree let's say negative one mm -hmm. there might be something in degree negative two we're mm -hmm. all coming from but 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 Dima this is all worked out this is all like this is a starting point of our considerations so that you can all find but I mean I'm I'm, I'm just uh, yeah I'm, I'm just thinking that maybe there that yeah, there is a more straightforward way. Okay, yeah, no, I got it. Is, yeah, maybe yeah, yeah but that, that, that's what I said. That's what I said before. I think this way, what, what you propose is a bit more straightforward than by this construction you had. That's what I wanted right. to say. Mm -hmm. It could be. There, maybe there is a more straightforward way just by um, resolving this T, and that's maybe the nature of it. But mathematically, if you decompose into all these steps, each step is already known by some famous people before. So should we call it no or not no? <laughs> no I don't know. It, it, well, it's not, it wasn't known to me. I mean, this well, especially okay. this example. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, super yeah. gravity. I'm just uh, kind of like I mean, I, I, I'm looking at the at the definition. I'm thinking like where this you know like where this could go. Um, yeah, but but you're on the right track. It was precisely how I started thinking. All right then. Well, thanks for thanks for answering my questions.
Thank you for your <laughs> attention. Uh, thank you. Uh, for real algebra case, mm -hmm. uh, there is a Q manifold descri description. There is a what? Uh, the super manifold uh, description. Yeah, yeah, super manifold dis description, uh, mm -hmm. Q manifold. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, the reference algebra case, uh, it is no more Q manifold, uh, super manifold. Super manifold, you mean Z2 graded, right? Instead yeah, of Z2 yeah. graded. Z2 graded, uh, graded. Yeah, yeah. But no more super manifold. You're right? Uh, what? Uh, no, no, there is. That's the point. There is. Yeah, yeah. So, um, do you have some proper framework to yes. describe this case? For, uh, yes. What? Okay, Thomas, got it. Please do explain to us. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this, uh, what is a uh, proper framework to describe this case? What is the uh, uh, proper description? Framework, framework to describe this this reference algebra case. Please. Wow. Well, can, can no, but I, I didn't talk now. <laughs> no, but but th th this is precisely the point that there's a Q manifold in in in, in this picture. And 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 interestingly, the the Q structure can be identified with the famous low day differential. That, that yeah. was this interesting observation okay. that, uh, that the Q-manifold is a bit tricky. I think it was generated by Lindon words in a universal E algebra. So that the vector mm -hmm. space itself is, is generated by, by, by the free words of some, by, by some basis of a free Lie algebra. And yes. on that vector space, you have a Q structure, which is precisely the low day differential. Yeah, I think Pinchan mentioned at the very beginning that there is a free Lie algebra in the game, right? You said this. I, I said that. Yeah, yeah, I said this. I, I remember. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so indeed, like, um, oh, maybe that's uh, right. So, at the very no, very at the very beginning, maybe second or third slide. Yeah, yeah, over here, right. Mm -hmm. So this freely over here, and indeed, it, it, it's sort of the, all the Lie brackets. Uh, they're like the own infinity, therefore there's a Q structure over here, which I wrote like P over here. It's the, it, it, it's actually some sort of half and uh, for for this new thing, you can give a Leibniz algebra. And uh, for this Leibniz bracket, give you like a sort of a half Q. So it's not very uh, uh, anti-symmetric. When you anti-symmetricize it, then you, you get this really a Q manifold. But then on this free loop, the price to pay is you, 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 you now it's bigger, it's freely. Hmm. Uh, we have to consider some kind of non commutative, uh, not, not, not great, not that great in my book, right? I, I need to consider some not so graded manifold. Uh -huh. Oh, what do you mean? Uh -huh. No, the, yeah. the Z graded, the Z two graded, whatever you want. <laughs> it's a symmetric algebra of some graded space. Of course, it's a graded commutative algebra. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can, yeah, I can also put a grading over here. I can put like a V already into a uh, graded vector space, and this thing still works out. Yeah, it's. It's not afraid of uh, perturbation of a homotopy. It's fine. Right. And um, we even conjecture that uh, even on the maps should be not be afraid of uh, homotopy. Namely, if we have a weak occurrence over here, it should be a weak occurrence over here. And uh, <laughs> and thank you, thank Bruno very much. We got something to prove that. <laughs> And um, yes. mm -hmm. and we know that for fibration it's definitely fine. So fibration over here definitely not to fibration over here. 